Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day and thanks so much for joining me in this video. Now as I made clear in the title of this video, you'll be hearing my Infinite Warfare beta thoughts and opinions as a viewer. Just to keep my subscribers up to date at the moment, I don't have a PS4 so it'll be the Xbox One beta before I get some gameplay up on my channel and give you my honest thoughts on how the game actually plays. But I've watched quite a few hours of Infinite Warfare beta gameplay at this point. And there's a few key points I'd like to discuss in this video, a few key themes and I'm a bit concerned about this game at this point in terms of how good it will actually be. So let's get into the points that I've noticed. First of all is things I've noticed about the people actually playing this game. I'm noticing a huge amount of frustration. I'm noticing a lot of people saying it's bad, I'm noticing a lot of people saying well it's sort of okay or very average, but I'm not seeing a lot of people saying that the game is fantastic, I'm not seeing a lot of genuine enthusiasm and that actually concerns me. The next thing is about the, the sort of flow and speed of the game, the time to kill seems crazy quick and the game actually seems to play very quick in general. Now it may just be the beta maps, but the maps that I'm seeing so far are quite small. And it seems like typically wherever you are on a map there are many entrance points to that exact location, be it windows, corridors, doors or whatever. And it seems like you really need eyes not only in the front of your head but the side and back of your head too. Crazy quick time to kill, sort of map design where enemies can be on you so quickly, can come at you from multiple angles. I'm concerned you're going to spawn, get a kill or two, get killed, respawn, that sort of cycle. It could lead to a lot of frustration and I'm certainly seeing a lot of frustration, anger and upset players at the moment and that's not really good. We really want to enjoy games when you play them, they're not something that should make you beat your head against the wall. In terms of the look of the game, I'm not a fan of futuristic look for Call of Duty, I've said that in previous videos and it's no surprise I'm seeing that in the beta. The maps look a bit futuristic, I have to point out they look a bit bland as well, there's no real character to them, I'm not too impressed with their look or actual design. But they look futuristic, the player characters or player models look quite futuristic and to be honest it seems more fitting, the overall look and theme of the game is more fitting with Titanfall or Halo than it is Call of Duty so that sort of concerns me but if the actual gameplay is good I could put that to the back of my mind and it wouldn't bother me too much but it doesn't strike a look that really appeals to me at the moment from what I have seen. On to the actual movement, it seems a bit slower in terms of exosuit movement than Black Ops 3 was, just fractionally slower but the overall speed of the game actually seems up. But I've noticed a lot of people saying it's actually unhelpful if you use the exosuit type movement in gunfights. This makes me wonder, did the developers feel the hate from players when we heard it was going to be in the game and did they decide to tone it down? Or did they too feel the game is just too quick and they've tried to tone down the movement and force it to be more boots in the ground? I'm just hoping that map design in the full game doesn't force you to jump around too much to navigate, otherwise you're going to be at a sort of disadvantage in gunfights and that's not good. Weapons, well, they seem okay, they seem fairly balanced, there's nothing too exciting about them. I prefer solid weapons, just sort of old school weapons, but boy is there some terrible looking weapons. I think it may be camo, I'm not too sure, but there's on one gun that a lot of people have been using that's like a hideous green and black, it just looks awful. I'm also not sure why they're including sort of old school Call of Duty guns in this game because it's a very futuristic game, it just doesn't sort of suit the actual game but hey, I don't know if that's an attempt to keep it more classic Call of Duty or not since it's so futuristic. Score streaks don't seem that interesting, some airborne score streaks actually seem useless in small maps which have got lots of indoor areas and you can't actually get to enemies to kill them. There seems so much going on with like perks and rigs and weapon variants too, there just seems a huge amount going on, I just wish they'd made that side of the game and your choices for like your class setup and so on a bit simpler. I'm also concerned some of the rigs could be a bit overpowered, there's one like where you've got like dual, it looks like SMGs and there's another one which I think is called the Claw 2 and the time to kill on those are crazy quick. They could be patched, for example, same as the Scythe was in Black Ops 3, but I don't know, it just seems very quick and could end to a lot of player frustration at the moment. 
And the other thing I don't like is like on the space themed maps, the floating bodies. These can actually get in the way a bit. And I don't sort of like the look of them, but if it's getting in the way of me shooting at an enemy, this is just going to lead to further frustration. But to be fair to the game as well, when everything comes together and you watch someone maybe going a nice little run, getting a few kills and so on, it does seem like classic Call of Duty for a brief while, but overall I'm just scared and concerned it's departed too much from what we know and recognise as being a classic Call of Duty game. So that's my thoughts as a viewer, you'll hear more from me on the game when I'm actually a player in the Xbox One beta. But let me know what your thoughts in the comments, if you're a player or you've watched the gameplay, what are you thinking, what have you seen, I'm keen to hear your thoughts too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon in another video.